I recognize that. I recognize that about. keto staples and let me share with you what I was able to get so I picked up some spinach just for salads and then just some re oh just some regular um this is classic iceberg salad so I picked that up I got two more of these um flavor enhancer things like you put in your water I got some sugar-free chocolate pudding we also got two sugar-free of the um 
Jello snacks. Those are one carb. These are four carbs. I got some of the um, queso blanco cheese. I got sharp cheddar cheese of sticks, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I got two more things of the low, mo uh, low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese, some bacon, almond flour, stevia, and then whole almonds. So that was what I got. And oh, and I also got this um, this uh, what do you call it? Insulated bag. So that when I go home, I can pack some grocery items in here because we're really not sure what grocery stores are going to look like on the way or back home. So I'm going to pack up some key staple things just that I can take. Preferably we'll get power back soon. We still don't have power back on our street. But some key staple things when we get ready to go. This was only, this was less than $5. So I may actually go back and pick up one more because it wasn't really expensive and that was... And it's a pretty decent sized bag. You can fit 50 cans in there. Not that I'm going to be using cans, but that's what it said on the on the thing. So anyway, that is my quick. These are keto staples, and I spent seventy six dollars. Seventy six dollars on this. <laughs> from our area and this is a 31 bag it's not one of the Walmart bags this is a 31 bag that I had um, stuffed in some other bags so I was glad I was able to find it because it makes it easier to just grab and carry so I'm going to show you what I have in my bag while I try to repack it because as you can see it's not packed quite correctly right now so we are trying to stay in our own small specific spaces although we can use anything in the house we are trying to stay pretty um, you know contained just so we're not in the way so I did bring all of my keto supplies and I'm just going to share with you the things that I did pick up okay so one of the things that has been extremely helpful the washer is going so we apologize if it's um, noisy but one of the things that has been helpful is having these containers like all of my flowers so I have coconut flour in one I've got almond flour in another one that does say self rising flour but that's almond flour in there I just didn't rewrite the name and then the uh, stevia that we have purchased we brought what we had we brought what we had and could use and then we just slowly filled in with some other things so in this bucket we have snacks so lots of the sugar-free um, jellos that we're going to leave out for the kids to eat and these are actually all some that have been in here for a while so we're going to leave these out in case the kids want to eat these um, I do have 
have some nuts. I'm not real sure if we will continue to eat these because kids don't really like nuts. They only have two grams of car uh, carbs, seven grams of protein, 15 grams of fat for a uh, one ounce serving. So I may keep these for a pinch, but the kids won't eat them. I'll eat them, but I don't want them to go rancid either. So I'm going to have to eat them quickly. I'm just going to toss in. I had a couple of... um pecans left so I'm just going to toss everything into one container so I'm condensing stuff in my bag. for me I've got coffees which are real important um, parchment paper because there's a lot of baking that get, takes place and I also have a still pet mat um, I have peanut butter stevia all of my spices that I could use garlic powder onion powder Italian coconut and almond flour the stevia vanilla I also made sure to bring all of my measuring utensils it just makes it easier when you're doing keto cooking to have your measuring utensils so I brought those um, one of the things that I've been finding extremely helpful to keep down on dishes is I started using a what do it what is it I want to call this a ziplock bag and in the ziplock bag once I get all of my um, mozzarella cheese and cream cheese melted because I'm gonna make either um, dough or bagels or something like that. Once I get everything, all the cheeses melted and I put the flour in, then I put it inside of this Ziploc bag. So when I put everything in the bag, then you can knead the dough together and then that keeps from using another bowl. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm just trying to stay as convenient as possible and then to not having or creating a lot of dishes. So, because we're washing dishes quite often with the number of people that are here. So after every meal, there's a cleanup. So what I did was just took this bag and it leaves it pretty clean with the exception of just, you know, a little bit. So I'm just folding this back up and I'm gonna do this even when I go home, use this. So I'm just folding it up and I'm putting the bag back inside. And you can change the bag anytime you need to change the bag. but. We have everything we need for keto cooking inside of this bag. We've got some keto snacks as well as, you know, the jello and stuff. I'm leaving these out because we purchased those before we left home and we need to use those. Um, and then the ones that I just bought, I put in the bottom of this bag. But everything is pretty accessible to us. And so this has just been helpful to um, have everything in the bag. Okay, you guys, so here's my meal planner, and it's a little bit challenging to try to meal plan right now because I'm, I'm planning around their meals. So I know that I'm probably going to have some type of salad greens for dinner, but I'm not sure with what because she doesn't know what she's cooking. She did a roast last night, so last night I had um, roast and green beans um this morning i did bagels i did bacon and i did waffles so i did those all out of the craveable keto well the bagels and the waffles came from the craveable keto cookbook or peace love and low carb yesterday i made the pizza crust from peace love and low carb and we used some um leftover hamburger meat and onions and peppers we had and then we found some pepperoni we had a bunch of cheese, so we just made two pizzas for lunch. Um, I did, a, you know, you'll see the small grocery shop from for keto on in this video, or you should have seen it before this clip. And then I'm not real sure what I'm gonna have for the next couple of days, but I, what I'm planning to do is to at least keep a running track of what I have either made or eaten over the next couple of days. So I have some. Um, 
cook ahead meal ideas, but some things work better than other things. Um, I know I did waffles and all the kids love the waffles. So I had one waffle and we have one left out of the batch that I made because the kids ate them, which is fine. And then the bagels, I got eight bagels and five of them are already gone. So of course the kids were helping to eat those. And when I say kids, it's all the kids here. Cause anything I make, anybody can eat. I'm just not eating their meals that might have way more carbs than what I want to eat. I'm not eating the carb portion, so I'm just eating the meats and mainly the veggies. So what I'm going to do is just keep filling in day by day what I've either prepped or what I have eaten. And that's how I'm going to keep up with this week. We are hoping that we can get home, let me see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm looking to either try to leave Saturday, Sunday, or Monday of next week if the roads are clear. So we're going to be praying that the roads do clear. But we're also going to be praying that we have power. Because even if the roads are clear, if I go home and I have no power, I still can't cook meals. I can't warm, uh, keep food cold. So I'm going to take food when I'm leaving to make sure that we have some stuff because grocery stores are just out of everything. So right now what I'm planning to do is to try hard to either start prepping to leave Saturday or Sunday and then really be on the road Sunday or Monday. It just depends. I don't want to leave late because I don't know what road conditions will be like and if I will be able to, if I'll be driving roads, I don't know in the late evening. So I'm going to try to leave pretty early in the morning. It should only take me four hours to get home from where I am right now, but we never know. So far, still a lot of major highways are closed. But anyway, I'm going to actually be making a list. Actually, um, that's what I could be writing down now. Bring home. Everything in our refrigerator will have to be tossed. Everything in our outside freezer will have to be tossed. Uh, because still on my street, in my neighborhood, there is no power. And we're going on days, well, let me see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two, five days of no power. So everything is, even if I did have ice in there to keep things cold, it's pretty much trash now. So everything is going to have to be out of the freezers. I'm still thankful that I'll be able to keep my pantry staples that I have in the house. So those will be good. So some things that I'm thinking about bringing home probably gonna get some lunch meat um, cheese I'm going to bake before I leave here um, two loaves of keto bread I'm probably also going to bake bagels and that way when I get home I can focus on the clean out and not a lot of cooking um, bake it I'm probably going to get some eggs to take home. What else would be good to take home? Hmm. Tuna or something like that. Probably tuna or chicken for chicken salad in the can. Um, what else do we use on a regular basis? I'm going to need to have some condiments. Uh, ooh, I probably need to get like some chicken and I bought a cool bag and I have my cooler with me as well so I'm gonna get probably some chicken thighs or tenderloins because those are easier to cook um, veg of some kind if I can find something and they do have a Harris heater here close so I'm going to try to find a Harris Teeter to see if I can even use some coupons to go ahead and make uh, make a grocery trip and so I'm going to write down here for Saturday a uh, possible sh uh, shop trip or Sunday so anyway this is what we're doing just wanted to kind of let you guys know how we were maintaining keto and um, trying to eat as healthy as we can while we're on the road again the kids are not strictly keto while they're away from home. They're able to eat whatever is available for them. I'm just choosing to be strictly keto. Um, I know that my friends have tried to 
accommodate my eating plan, which is totally not their responsibility. As long as the kids eat whatever they need, I can grab a salad or like I said, just have some meat and veggies or whatever. I did get some spinach so I could just have some spinach and mushrooms if that's what I could get. Um, so I did buy, buy some spinach yesterday to make sure that at least I could have that as a, as a side. But other than that, I'm just going to still try to come up with a list of things I can take home. If you can think of some things I should be able to take home that would ride well for four hours in a cold bag, um, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think we should take. That's keto friendly. Um, so I'm going to try to, you know, because again, our grocery stores have not been restocked and what little bit they do have. Um, everybody that's still in town is trying to get those items. So let us know what you think we should try to bring home with us. So there it is, pretty much how we're maintaining keto on the road. Our travel baking bag, which I absolutely love, and um, what the kids and I have been doing over the last couple of days. So thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel, and we'll see you next video. Bye now.